Hey, what's going on guys? Log.zip here. Today I'm going to show you how to turn into a magma cube in Minecraft. That's right, baby. A full-blown magma cube for you to do with whatever you want. It's time to terrorize the nether and the overworld. But how did we turn into this magma cube, huh? Well, it has everything to do with this magma potion, one of Minecraft's most ancient of serums. But it doesn't just end there. You're going to need more than just a magma potion. You're also going to need some secret magma armor that comes equipped with its very own custom enchantment known as Fire Thorns that will keep any offending mobs at bay. And not only can you become different size magma cubes, but each different size magma cube comes with its own unique abilities. Ha! Ah, we're going to use those abilities to rob a bank in Minecraft, so make it to the end of the video and watch that happen. And a special thanks to Blue Commander for this awesome morph today. To begin the process of turning into a magma cube, we're going to need to make a very special contraption. The Magma Crusher. The Magma Crusher crushes magma. <laughs> Who'd have thought? And we're going to need it in order to make some new special items for these crafting recipes that will allow us to turn into this cube. We're going to make it right now. Four nether brick slabs are needed, four red nether bricks are needed, a piston, of course, and glass. This is just extra, in case I'm making mistakes. <laughs> but who does that? Who makes mistakes? Not me. Here's how you place it down. Once you've got this built, you'll be on your way to the next step involving this magma crushing process. Play it on down there. You do, bang. Uh, oh, there, right, you'll want to make sure the piston's facing down. Once you've got it set up like that, you're good to go. With the magma crusher, we can make magma essence. The essence of magma. Oh, you magma me blush? That's bad. Drop all 64 magma cream onto the glass and press the button. Yes, a full stack of magma cream. So get ready to head to the nether and grab your looting three sword because there's two different ways to get magma cream. One is by killing magma cubes for it. And as you can see here, we've got our lovely little magma creams. Nice. Or make some by collecting blaze rods from different blaze creatures in the nether and combining them with slime balls that you get from killing little baby slime. And to do that, you'll turn your blaze rods into blaze powder and you'll combine those two in a crafting table. With your full stack of magma cream collected, place it on the glass and CRUSH! Check this baby out. Once you've crushed it down, just right click it to grab it and you've got yourself some magma essence. We're gonna use this magma essence to make some awesome magma armor and you're gonna need this arm to turn into that magma cube. All you'll need are some diamond helmets, chest plates, leggings, boots, and of course, your different magma essences. And so all you'll need to do is drop your essence back on alongside your armor piece of choice, crush them together, and look what we've got. Magma boots. Yeah. Look at these enchantments. Let's make the rest. Leggings. Don't mind if I do. We've got ourselves a lovely chest plate. I don't mind if I do, and then of course we're gonna grab ourselves the awesome magma helmet as well. Thanks, Magma Crusher. You're the best. Yeah. So check this out. Protection, fire protection, fire thorns, a brand new enchantment you can get only on your magma armor. What does it do? <laughs> well, whenever you get hit by a mob, they will be set alight. Hi zombies. Hi zombie friends. Oh gosh, well you are disgusting looking. What is wrong with your head? You've got a human head and a zombie body. But either way, you're the worst because you're now caught on fire. Now this could be a double-edged sword because you in theory can be set on fire too. But since you have such great fire protection, it's really not a big deal if you are. But look, they all get caught on fire the moment they hit you with your armor on. It's beautiful. Get away from me, freaks. Oh hey man, <laughs> sorry about your house. It's uh... You know, it's not personal. Actually, let me see your trades. It might be personal. Oh, you don't want to trade me? Oh, okay, it is personal. But now that we have our magma armor, we only need one more thing in order to become a magma cube, which is one more magma essence and one bottle of water. Crush! And you'll be given an ultimate magma cube transformation serum. Let's collect it. Magma potion. Ooh. Nice. And so while wearing a full set of magma armor, we, my friends, will drink this potion. Y'all ready? BAM! I am a magma cube. Look at me. Yo, I'm a cool guy. You're transforming into a magma cube. The ability will only last for about five minutes before the magma potion's duration wears off. So you'll want to be very careful in timing when you become a magma cube and when you know it's about to end. They've got a lot of different powers as this magma cube. Namely, you can jump really high up, and that's fun. Everybody likes a, a higher jump. I mean, look at me. I'm bouncing. But not only that, every single time you bounce, you will leave behind a trail of magma. 
smoking magma to be exact with a great particle effect that looks kind of like the campfires that just got added. Don't mind me, I'm just a magma cube. You're given a lot of things. Jump boost four, luck, speed, invisibility, resistance, fire resistance, strength, that, that, that one's just me, I added that one. But more importantly, you check out the hot bar, look at this. You got different powers. They're all called wooden sword, <laughs> but they shouldn't be. They're called the following. While morphed, you have lots of cool potion effects, and you also place magma. Yeah, we already went over that blue. Come on, work with me here, man. Mmm. The more events in fight. Yeah, we already did that. Now for the main abilities. To do abilities, you need to select different hotbar slots and follow the instructions on the action bar. Y'all ready? Look at this. First power. Camouflage. Hold sneak to enable camo. Activating camo. Three, two, one. Camo activated. Now we look like an innocent little slime. Wow, little did they know, I'm actually a magma cube. <laughs> Just like a different colored magma cube. Anyway, camouflage turns you into slime so you can sneak past unsuspecting victims. Try it out. So we've got a little area where we can sneak past unsuspecting victims here. Oh, I didn't mean to deactivate the camo. I don't want to deactivate the camo. You see, you deactivate the camo if you hold sneak down. But look at this, there's mobs nearby, they're not messing with us. Well, I mean, that one tried to mess with us, but we've got our magma armor on, so we still got caught on fire. Look, I'm just an innocent slime. Hey, leave me alone. No, no one likes you. Get away! Yo, what's good, Iron Golem? How's it going, man? You, uh, you come around here a lot? I'm gonna punch you. You can die now. Yeah, well, I'm strong. Again, I gave myself strength, so that's not necessarily normal. We move on, though. The other two hot bars work together. Number two is called Age. There are three different ages to change into. Cub, Adult, and Elder. Give it a try. Okay, I'll do it. So, we're gonna hold sneak to become an elder, and look what happens the moment we become an elder. Well, we become huge! Big ol'! You can also sneak, once you're an elder, to turn into a tiny little guy. Look at me! Now I'm a little baby! Yo, adorable. What's more, you can choose to be either a cub slime, a normal slime, or an elder slime, or you can do the very same as a magma cube as well. So once again, we're a tiny little slime, mm -hmm, or magma cube, <laughs> keep forgetting what my name is. You can also become a normal sized magma cube, which we were already before, and most importantly, we can become the elder magma cube. Yeah, baby. People try to mess on me, not gonna happen. For now, let's check this next ability out, the third and final ability. It's got three different unique abilities, and it changes depending on what age you happen to be. If you're a cub, if you're normal size, or if you're one of these elders. And so we'll show you that in a second, but I wanted to show you what happens when you run out of your magma potion. You'll notice here we only have about five seconds left of all of our different effects, and then it's gonna be so sad, guys, because look at what happens. Your powers have come to an end. You'll need to make another magma potion if you want to turn back into this cube. So, once again, magma essence, water bottle, press it down, grab yourself your potion, drink it up, and you are good to go to transform once again. So now, let's show you these third and final abilities. We're gonna start with the Cubs' special ability. Check this thing out. You can fit through small one-by-one -one gaps, such as this one that you see right here. So, let's go ahead and... Ein. Yikes, I, I'm inside, but look, it's a perfect fit. I literally fit right inside. Tell me that wasn't lovely. Did y'all see that? Can we just... Can we, can we, I'm, get, let me, I wanna, I wanna, I, there we go, excellent. Okay, so we're gonna have to slowly but surely navigate this area. Yo, we're literally inside this crazy, oh boy! Oh wait, okay, look, okay, there it is, hey, hey, yeah, that's good. We're in reverse F5 mode, so you can kinda see me moving around right now. This is lovely, are we out yet? I, I'm stuck! We're almost there, ay, 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 get me out of this place, I don't wanna be here anymore. Oh, hey, we're in a house! Hey, well, that's kind of hilarious. Okay. <laughs> Pretty fun, huh? Well, later you have to use all these abilities to break out of a base. Okay. I could get behind that. Oh, boy. What is happening over there? <laughs> Anyways, the next power for the time being. Spare potion to top up. Oh, I wish I'd seen that before. Anyways, we now have another thing that we want to show to you guys. The adult's ability. Ground slam. I don't think I need to explain it. Age to an adult, then try it out on something. Oh, okay. I'll go ahead and ground slam. Let's do it. Y'all ready? Sneaking time to ground slam. Check it out. <gasps> Boom! Love it. Oh, never stop loving it. Sheer destruction. Big old powers. Yeah, get it. Come on. Once again. Bam! That's great. You'll cause an explosion wherever you land. You'll see this innocent house over here. Y'all ready? Hold on. Can we just, can we just, can we just? Bam! <laughs> yeah, I'm evil. 
Moving on, we finally have the Elder's Split ability. This will divide you into three smaller magma cubes that all deal a lot of damage when they touch anything nearby. Remember, all these abilities also work when in camouflage mode. Camel, I said camouflage. <laughs> but let's show you this final ability. We're going to have to turn into an Elder first, so let's become one with the Elders. Yes. And now we'll hold Sneak to split from this big old cube into three small old cubes and they will actually move with you wherever you go i kind of feel like a wither i'm like a wither creature but with no body okay let's go get in some trouble <laughs> what's good zombies what's good weird zombie wonders can we just let's just yeah 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 i'm gonna get all y'all so check it out 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 whenever you come in contact with any of these guys nearby all three of the cubes will begin to do heavy amounts of damage to them this is really nice you literally just be walking, hanging out, and then check. I mean, I mean, look at this. It's fantastic. You, no one can mess with me. This is so lovely. I've got three of these guys. And again, you can instantly go camo mode. All you got to do is that, but you'll continue to maintain all of your special powers. Although, when you're in camo mode, it looks like you take a little more damage from fire. So, I'd watch out. So let's drink up our final potion to turn back on in here, and we will carry on wrapping up what we have going on, what you see on screen right now. Get my wait. It's, uh, it's a lot easier to see uh, buttons when you're a tiny little guy. <laughs> Hi! Wow, friends! Hey, what's good, everybody? What was, what was the cows there? What the heck was that button there? What was with the cows? That made absolutely no sense. Anyways, bank room. Oh. Oh. Yo. Okay, I like this. So we're an evil slime, right? I get that. We've robbed the bank. I'm going to take all these. Thank you. It's my gold now. Goodbye. And uh, we need to get the heck out of here. We're going to need to do it in a few different ways because obviously this door is locked and it doesn't lead anywhere. So we should... <laughs> right. Anyways, look, we're a little baby guy. And so as you know, we can already fit through these one by one gap blocks. So don't mind me while I literally escape from here. Beautiful. That was great. Now what? Is, oh, oh, okay. I know what we gotta do. Yo, aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Yo, I, I know what we gotta do. Can we just slam? Hold on. Come on and slam. If you wanna jam, get it! Yes. Lovely. So good. Now what? Oh, another little baby. Okay. I thought we might have to do an elder or something. That's okay. We're gonna become an elder. Sometimes you gotta get old before you can get young again. That's a proverb. It's saying it's real everyone believe me blindly okay look, we, we're tidy again we went inside we're getting the heck out of here to be honest we gotta go there's like a maze to navigate are you serious get real just let me out why would you do this to me blue hey, hey you escaped yo he's all about it baby guys if you could be any mob in minecraft what would it be leave your comments in the comment section below we'll see you later